Hey, it's Jake Mace with jakemace.com. I have my iron fan here. I've been using these iron fans for quite a while. And what you do is, you put your thumb on the back end right here, and your fingers are kind of relaxed over here. Then your thumb traps and your fingers relax. And the fan opens like this from the back. There's a beautiful dragon there. Dragon is the young animal. And the color of this fan is also red, which is also young. So if you had a black fan, I would hope that your black fan would have a phoenix on it because black and phoenix are yin, dragon and red are yang. Then you would have twin fans, black one yin, red one yang. So we do it faster. We close it up like this again. Grab right here, let the fingers open it. Close it again, let the fingers open it. Again, fingers open. Again, fingers open. And traditionally, each one of these stays, we call them a stay, would be sharp like a knife. So this fan has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And I was told that about 13 stays or so is like a warrior fan, so that when you opened it, it would slice through somebody's neck and cut them just like a sword would. But then you can fan yourself on a hot day and close the fan and use it as a smacking tool or as a jabbing tool. So there's a lot of versatility in this passive looking and beautiful weapon that is part of Chinese Gong Fu. I want you guys to get your fans right now and practice a few of these moves with me. And if you don't have one of these fans, you can get one sent to you at jakemace.com. I want you to grab your fan and hold it like this with your index finger out on the back side. So if the fan opens this way, the index finger is on this side right here. And then put it behind you just like you would put your sword behind you. And then I want you to close your eyes and take a step just like Tai Chi and breathe in and breathe out. Now rise and sink just like Tai Chi, in and out. Now I'll offer my fan to you guys. Breathe in. Now I'll clear the room of any negativity. Breathe out. And down. Circle the fan to the inside. In. The immortal points the way. Out. Look at that over there. That's where I want to go. So I'm going to breathe in and turn that direction, breathe out. Cover my fan and hide it beneath my sleeve. Right hand grabs the fan, breathe in. Step out that low stance, breathe out. Now plant the fan as if you're planting rice. Breathe in. Circle back, breathe out. Circle your fan and your hand. Breathe in. Exhale, open the fan and cut. Close the fan. Step, cut this way. Breathe in. Three. Breathe in. Four. Two more. Five. Six. Now leave it open. Circle the fan toward your right side. Step forward. Lift your leg and jab the fan to somebody's neck with the left hand here. Then close the fan this way. Step back, put it by your right hip and hold the hand here. Turn to the right, deflect in. Lift the right leg and fan yourself and walk. And then I want you to take a thousand steps with your eyes closed. Make sure you're safe. Breathe in. Breathe out. Stepping on 45 degree angles from toe to heel. Always being in control of your weight and your balance. Make sure you guys take your fan and jab the like button on this video. Hit thumbs up for me. 
subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. We have nearly 900 videos now on our YouTube channel here at the Shaolin Center YouTube channel. If you guys want to practice the fan, I highly encourage it because this is a segment from our Chen Jia Tai Chi San, Chen Family Tai Chi Fan form that I teach, and it's beautiful. It improves your focus, it improves your physical strength. It's a form of meditation and motion, and it also will scare the crap out of the unsuspecting roommate that's living with you. Because when you open that fan, it scares the whole room. So it's a really fun weapon, and in Arizona, where it's 120 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer, it's a great way to cool off and enjoy your Kung Fu practice and your Tai Chi practice. Make sure you guys check out jakemace.com to get a fan just like mine. And also go to our online school for Kung Fu and Tai Chi instruction online at jakemace.com. And as usual, don't forget that every single day you must practice your Kung Fu and your Tai Chi. Consistent practice is key. And I'll see you guys back here next time.